Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, we're going to be forming concrete steps and also forming a concrete patio. So you'll get to see how we do both at the same time. So this is what we do first. When we put these boards on, we're going to be forming up around this, this frost wall. And the first thing we got to do is anchor the boards to the concrete. Now we do that by using a special type of screw where we we drill through the board into the concrete and then we screw the board right to the concrete. Now before I get into all that, if this is your first time here, my name's Mike Day. Uh, I own everything about concrete.com and I'm putting these videos out two to three times a week to teach you guys all about concrete. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so you'll be updated of all my new videos that come out. All right, so we fasten these boards to the concrete using what's called a Tapcon screw. And it's going to pop up right here in a second. So that's the screw right there. It's got a hex head on it. And it's it screws right into the concrete and it fastens the board to the concrete really good. That's the bit we use. We use a, it's called a nut driver bit. So we'll just put that on a on our DeWalt drill. And that goes right around that screw and it screws it right to the wall. You can see my guy there, he's using a hammer drill with a masonry bit and he's drilling the holes for those screws. And then he comes back and he screws that board right to the wall. And that board won't come off after that. It holds it really tight. So we're starting with the patio, we're getting the sides on. We're about eight inches above the top of that concrete wall for the finished patio grade. And we have a slight pitch built into the patio so the water will run off it. See my guys are over there setting that last board. And then we're going to start working on the steps. Concrete steps is, is a little tricky if you've never done them before. I mean, it takes a little thinking. So this set of steps is going to have four risers. And then you'll step up on that patio. They're about six feet wide. We've done enough over the years just to be dangerous at it. We don't do a lot of them. We'll probably do you know a handful of them every year. So it still require, requires us to think about it a little bit as we're doing it. Yeah, we've got all the sides on now. Now we're going to start working on the concrete steps. So the first board we're going to put on is that bottom board, the, the very first step. And we'll set that right to grade. The risers on these stairs, they're going to be six and a half inches, and there's four of them. So that means that bottom board right there that we got set up is going to be 26 inches below the top grade on the patio. And that's what we just did. We we reset the we reset the receiver on the laser. We moved it up 26 inches so we could set that board down 26 inches lower. Now we're getting out our generator here. They just cut power to that building because they're moving the service on it. So we got out our handy little generator. That's 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 a godsend right there. That little generator. I would definitely recommend having one of those. I'll. I'll put a link down in the description for that. We use that for everything. It's light, it's quiet, and it'll run just about any tool we have. And as you can see, we're checking grade. The link for these, any links for these tools will be down there too, guys. These are great tools we use. The DeWalt battery ones, the Topcon laser. These are all really good tools to have if you're getting into this business. So we just figured out the top angle for that board on that side. We held it in place, even with the top of that bottom board. And then we held it in place, even with the top of the patio. And then we just marked the angle using that board up there that's on the side of the patio. So now we'll just screw that one into place. And then we'll tap con that to the concrete too. Just one board at a time. That's that's how you do stairs. You don't hurry it. Yeah, now you can see I'm figuring the length for that last side. 
I'm gonna dig out a little bit of dirt right there. So I'll hold that board in place. The bottom will be even with that bottom board and the top even with the top and then I'll just mark it with a pencil whatever that angle is and we'll cut it at, it, at that angle. Then it'll fit right in there. And the next step is going to be to put the risers on. So we'll get that screwed into place. We screw everything too. We don't nail anything anymore. The screws hold so much better. And they're much easier to strip. This is going to be part one of a part two series. So this part will be with us forming the patio and the stairs. And the second part will be us pouring and finishing the concrete patio and the concrete stairs. All right, so that's all, all the sides are in place. Now we can work on putting the risers up. So those are six feet wide and we cut them about an eighth short. We don't want them too tight so we can strip them as the concrete's still green. And then we'll put the top right to grade and the bottom is, the board's cut six and a half inches so the bottom we perfectly degrade. And we also cut that board bottom at a 45 degree angle. And the reason we do that is so when we pour the stairs, it's a lot easier to get your, your mag float in under there to make sure you're right even with the bottom. So I'm screwing that riser on. You'll see we're going to mark it at six and a half inches, snap a chalk line right there. And then I'm going to cut that at a 45. You don't have to do this. It's just it just makes it easier to pour and then it makes it easier to finish too when you strip that board off. So there we got it all cut and we get it, screwing it in place. The top of that board is going to be an eighth of an inch lower than the bottom of the the previous board we just put up. So that step will slightly slope away in case it gets any water on it the water won't pool and run towards the back of the step and then we'll do the same we got two more to put in so if that's six feet I'm cutting that at five foot eleven and seven eighths and then screwing that into place when we screw these risers up too we don't screw them perfectly vertical we'll We'll tip the bottom of them back about a half inch. I don't know if you notice that with stairs. The risers are usually tipped, so the, the top of the riser is sticking out just a little further than the bottom. It's the bottom's tipped back a little bit. So we do the same with these. We don't we don't screw them in perfectly vertical. Here we got one more to go. And then we'll have this thing almost formed up. Like I said, guys, I come out with these videos two to three times a week about trying to teach you guys just what we do. We specialize in concrete flat work. And uh, this is the kind of stuff we do every day. So if you, if you haven't subscribed, go, in, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. If you do concrete work and you do forming like this, give me a yes down there in the comments. If you don't and you want to learn more about this, give me a no. And that way I'll know how to gear more of these future videos. All right, so we're going to screw the top. And then we'll tip that bottom back about a half inch and screw that. And then that'll be right in place. Then the last thing we have to do is we'll just put a brace. You'll see my guy, he'll put a brace right down the middle of those to keep those boards from bowing out when we pour the concrete in there. Well, that's it, guys. As you saw, my guy put in a matter rebar up there while we was forming. And uh, that's how you form a patio with a frost wall on it in a set of concrete stairs. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.